What if I told you that we cured multiple sclerosis? What do you think? Hmm, tell me more. Well, what if I told you researchers back in September of 2013 may have cured multiple sclerosis or MS and you probably never even heard about it. This was done at the University of Wisconsin, Madison, also published in the September Journal of Neuroimmunology, 2013. What is the miraculous maybe cure? Well, let's indulge into what it can be. Well, this I'll give you a quote first. All the animals that had MS or MS-like symptoms just got better and better. And the longer we watched them, the more neurological function they regained. This being an administration once of the active hormone of vitamin D called Casitriol. And then after that one administration of the active hormone of vitamin D, they just gave them very regular vitamin D supplements. So we go to their quotes. And their quotes being that they discovered a vitamin D based treatment that could halt and even reverse the course of the disease in mouse models of MS. The treatment involves giving mice that exhibit, exhibit MS symptoms a single dose of calcitriol, may we regress, the active hormone of vitamin D, followed by ongoing vitamin D supplements through, throughout their diet. All the animals just got better. Currently, the FDA treatments only work for some MS patients, and in fact, they don't halt the disease at all, especially not reverse the disease, as claimed by these researchers back in September 2013 through one active hormone administration of the calcitriol vitamin D and the vitamin D supplements from now on in. While scientists don't fully understand what triggers MS, they know there's a connection. They just couldn't quite figure it out. And Colleen Hayes, the lead researcher on the study, too. What they found away is this. They were looking for the past 25 years and what happens with the vitamin D, especially with the vitamin D and the estrogen itself. And they noticed that vitamin D had some protective actions when it came to MS. I'm not just talking about people being more prone to get MS if they're away from the equator or whatever it is. They said, when they started comparing vitamin D to the current drugs that the FDA approves in the market for MS, henceforth, the drugs approved by the FDA work barely, don't halt the disease, and definitely don't reverse, but yet Casitriol, which you probably never heard of, halts and reverses, at least in animal models. Vitamin D always beat the drugs. First, Hayes, the lead researcher, compared the effectiveness of a single dose of Casitriol to that of comparable dose of glucocorticoids. Those of MS know exactly what that is. And basically, especially with patients that develop bad neurological problems. Casitriol came out ahead, including a nine-day remission in 92% of the animals on average versus a six-day remission, 58% in the mice receiving the glucocorticoids. Excuse that interruption. All right. So, one treatment of the active hormone of vitamin D beat the drugs which are on the market for MS. You still haven't heard of it. So, at least in the animal model, Casitriol is more effective than what's being used in the clinic right now. Next, Hayes even took it one step further, because he's a researcher, doing what researchers do best. They tried a weekly dose of Casitriol. They found out a weekly dose reversed the disease and sustained remission indefinitely. But since Casitriol can carry some side effects, say they, in their words, it's a biological sledgehammer, it can raise blood calcium levels, and so on and so forth. They decide to, temp to temper it a little bit. Do the active hormone, and then the regular vitamin D supplements orally. What they discovered was this. This one-two punch was a runaway success. 100% of the animals responded. You name that or compare it to any other current medical treatment out there for MS. 100% res response rate. And still, September 2013, you probably haven't heard of it. Hayes believes that the calcitriol may cause the autoimmune cells attacking the nerve cells, myelin especially, coding to die, while a vitamin D prevents new autoimmune cells from taking their place. 
The next step, of course, is human clinical trials. Because remember, animal to human, there could be some variations, different biologies, different genetics, and so on and so forth. But it's such a simple, simple, simple thing. I don't know why doctors aren't trying it right off the bat. One injection of the active hormone of vitamin D, calcitriol, and then that kind of jump starts the system, and then vitamin D supplements from then on in. What a simple, non-invasive, non-dangerous thing to try. Makes you wonder why you haven't heard of it yet. But if you by some odd chance are lucky enough to come across this video, and of course I'll footnote the information in the about section of the video, I hope you can take this to your medical practitioner or medical professional. It may be, if not promote a little bit of a monetary movement to the researchers to actually cure this thing once and for all, at least try it yourself with medical supervision and see maybe if you could start something that can take momentum on its own that's outside of medical industry. Yeah, people may not profit from it, but what does that matter when it comes to your health and the health of those, those around you? Again, one injection, calcitriol, active hormone vitamin D, followed by vitamin D supplements. September 2013, Journal of Neuroimmunology. You take it from there. Thank you.